Well, hello guys, so welcome to another episode of Kerbal Space Program. And in this video, we're going to be continuing my, I don't know, my space transport system series. So in the previous video, we have built the shuttle and that shuttle can reach orbit by itself. It can reach approximately 100, 100,000 meters, like pretty easily. So that's like 100 kilometers, but we have to make a way for this vehicle to reach into deeper space so we need to make like a system for it so as like the starship it has the ship and the booster well we're gonna make a booster for the shuttle so yeah we're gonna get started on that and let's do it okay so as you can see this is the previous ship that we built in the previous video and i have done some changes to it so the main changes that i've done to this shuttle is i've added some air breathing engines as well so there's an intake right here and there's also some on the side because i want to eliminate like any potential ways for like the airflow to get blocked so if it, if we're like at a higher pitch uh we want to assure that we can still feed the air breathing engine through the side and basically for the engine i choose the cr7 rapier because these are my favorite air breathing engines i've also flattened our st our cargo bay but before we build the transport system, let's do a quick test flight just to like see if this thing can still reach 100 kilometers or higher. And lift off. Beautiful. And then pitch up just like that. And then add some more fuel. And now we're just going to be heading straight up. So the main goal. Well, what I've discovered is I gotta at least reach 1,000 meters per second before I reach like 15,000 meters. If I can do that, then I am, I'm reaching 100,000 meters immediately or almost assuredly. Just like that. So we are going really fast. And there we go. Boom. We are at 100,000 meters now. So once again, the design has proven to be successful. So let's build the cargo system and we will attempt this once again, once everything is complete. Something like that. And then let's just add one of these. Beautiful. We got a very long boy over here. Very, very long. Okay, so this is pretty, I think we have gotten a pretty good portion of the wing completed. So now I'm just going to add the initial flaps. I'm going to add flappy, flappy pieces of this. Look at that, it's so tiny. Yeah, we're going to have, there's going to be some issues with this build for sure. I can already tell. Adding more pieces. This thing is way too long. Oh my goodness. These. Actually, we might actually, I might just do eight. I might have to do a yeah something like okay this is fine this should be fine yeah this has to be fine there's gonna be a lot of movement oh my goodness I'm, I'm, I'm actually having issues trying I can't even get a good angle at, on this because it's so big gosh Man, it's okay. You know what? Let's just try it anyway. Main issue that I'm seeing that is not sticking. Uh, yeah, that's a that's a pretty big issue. I don't know why though. Why is it not sticking? But let's just test it out and see how well it does. So engines on. Yeah, we are really, really. We're not even slow. We're just this thing is just so big that it looks slow. Oh, oh no. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that did not end well. Yeah, so that definitely did not end well. Everything is holding, which is beautiful, which is what I want to see. Nothing is wobbling around. Okay, everything is good. Front canard movement is good. We got, yep, yep. Everything is looking very good. Okay, let's let's go for a takeoff. 
And goes on. Yeah, we are way too slow to take off. We are flying. Okay, I can't believe that this is actually working. We are actually flying. 280 meters per second. Okay, let's try hitting... Let's try reaching 10,000 meters. Okay, we are very close to breaking 10,000 meters. Almost there. We are almost there. I don't think my computer likes this. It is very laggy. I'm getting like 20 frames per second right now. Okay, 10,000 meters. We're almost there. We are almost there. And then once we reach 10,000, I'm going to level level the plane out. And I just want to see how fast this thing can go. Boom, 10,000. So now let's go horizontal. Or maybe dive. It depends. We'll see. It really wants to pitch up for some reason. Yeah, it really wants to pitch up. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, my goodness. We are going straight down. We are going into the water. And I can't do anything about it. Uh, no, rest in peace. It kind of survived. Okay, it kind of survived. Okay, now let's see. Can we fly around with the shuttle on the, on the back of it? Okay, there we go. We got the Voyager. So I want it to be on it, but it's not. Okay, now I'm gonna merge. Uh Why are you doing this to me, game? Why? Oh, there we go. Family picture time. Oh, that was a big drop. Well, so as you can see, this is supposed to be our cargo transport right here. It's a big thing. Voyager 2T. And here is the shuttle. You can easily see how much smaller the shuttle is. But so, it's kind of unfortunate how I how I can't merge these two. Because I really wanted to see if, I, if this could carry the shuttle. But I just know for a fact it can carry the shuttle. Like, look how big that thing is. Like, look how much bigger it is. It could easily carry the shuttle. And then if we go over here, you can see the Starship that I made a couple of videos back. I have no idea why I'm so slow. Okay, but look. So this is Starship, the one that I made earlier. Look how tiny it is. This is very, very small. But here's Starship. And here are the two massive... Well, not really massive. This one is about... The shuttle is about the same size as Starship, I would say. But the cargo? Holy... This is probably the biggest thing I've made. And it is causing me great lag. I am lagging a lot. Like, I am lagging really, really badly. I wonder how much RAM I'm using. I'm probably using all of the RAM. So the video wasn't really as successful as I had hoped because we didn't really get the chance to fly the shuttle with the cargo plane, the transport aircraft. But it's okay. We have learned a great deal of knowledge. We have learned that we cannot merge stuff. So in the next video, I'm actually going to try building a real dedicated rocket.